drop shipping on Amazon, you sell an item, but then, oh no, it goes out of stock at your supplier and there's nobody else in the world that is selling that product that you, you know, could have them ship it to you. It's just an order that you cannot fill, but you also know that you can't really cancel it or you're gonna ding your metrics and you don't wanna ding your metrics because you do too many times, you can get suspended. What can you do if the item is available from literally any other supplier, then, you know, the same item, and even if it's, you know, even if you're gonna lose 10 bucks on it or something like that, if you can get that item to the buyer from, you know, anywhere else, <laughs> any other place that you can order from and still get that item to the buyer, you might wanna consider doing it because that might be an easier solution. But what if you really can't get it anywhere? It's really not available anywhere else. Maybe it's discontinued or something like that. What can you do? How can you, you know, sort of cancel this order, but not have your metrics get dinged? The first thing that you should do is ask the buyer to submit a cancellation request because you get in trouble if you cancel orders, but if you can ask the buyer to ask you to cancel the order, then you're golden because you're allowed to cancel orders. Uh, you know, if the buyer asks you to cancel them, that doesn't hurt your metrics. It only hurts your metrics if you initiate the cancellation. But what if the buyer doesn't get back to you? You know, they don't respond. Well, first off, when you sent that initial message, it should be something along the lines of, hey, there's a problem with your order. We need to cancel it. We're, we're trying to have you cancel it so that, you know, we can refund you. Uh, because if you say something like, hey, would you mind canceling the order? Well, they might be like, well, of course I mind. I, I want to get the item. But, you know, they, they, they need to sort of know that getting the item isn't really an option and we just want them to cancel it so we can get them refunded but yeah so say say you send those messages and they're not getting back to you ideal situation they just see the messages send the request and then you say great the buyer asked me to cancel but say they don't ever respond they you know they don't see the message at all that you know that can happen pretty commonly too what can you do well you've got one more option and that is to use a fake tracking number basically the idea is you upload a fake tracking number to the order so that amazon thinks that you've shipped it and it's on its way to just the wrong address then you send a full refund to the buyer so the buyer's got their money back and in amazon's mind a random package was shipped and it just went to a random address but the order stayed the order never got canceled the buyer just got their money back because there was some sort of issue with tracking but the order was never technically canceled then of course once you've done that you've sent the buyer the refund and you've uploaded the fake tracking number you can send a message to the buyer and say something along the lines of like hey we've been messaging you trying to get you to cancel the order the incorrect item was shipped or the item was damaged or you know whatever story you're using keep sticking with that we've gone ahead and sent you a full refund for your purchase and we're sorry for any inconvenience that it may have caused that way Amazon sees the fake tracking number and doesn't think that the order was canceled but the buyer ends up getting their money back and basically kind of having a clue of you know, what was going on and just thinks there's some sort of mix-up and that's why they got refunded